Uh, Gaffer, <laughs> just how proud are you of that performance? Yeah, couldn't be any prouder really, Charles. Um, the lads, every one of them to the man, all the substitutes that come on, um, they, they can be proud of themselves. Um, they've put a right shift in, they've had to work so hard and be so organised and, and disciplined. And yeah, and when we had a chance to play as well, we did. And yeah, it's even though it's a defeat, it's, it's one that doesn't hear too much. Let's just go back to the eighth minute of the game when Maka flicked in a, a Jordan free kick to put us in front. Can you explain what was going through your head at that moment? Yeah. I just wanted to, obviously, we, we said all week that we wanted to give our fans something to cheer and a goal would be the best thing. So to get one so early in the game, um, yeah, we, we were made up, just celebrated it like it was the last minute winner. But, um, but yeah, it was good. It was something that we spoke about in the week that set plays would be a real good chance for us to score, might be our best chance to score. And yet yeah, the delivery was brilliant from Jordan and McCauley got his head on the end of it and, and it, yeah, it was a brilliant start. You, you mentioned about sending the, the fans home with something to cheer about. I mean, that was celebrated wildly as well over to just behind you on, on your right shoulder. It was, it was incredible to hear that noise all game, pre-game, post-game today, wasn't it? It, it is, and, and we knew that it was going to be like that because they're, they're, just, they're just unbelievable, our fans. I heard somebody left from Penzance this morning, a coach for like what, half one in the morning, which is just crazy, but it just shows you know, how, how dedicated they are to go and follow the team. And, and today, I think, even though we've, we've been beat, they can be proud of their team because they could see that everybody give everything that they've got. And yet, yeah, when, when the goal went in, it was just amazing just to look up and see everyone going wild. It was great. That, that was an unbelievable moment. And then we, we held Chelsea, the European champions, until just before half-time. I mean, it, it was one of those where I was starting to believe. It was obviously inevitably going to be a lot of pressure on our goal, but how did you feel we, we coped with all of that? Yeah, I thought, I thought we coped really well. Look, we rolled our luck as well. They hit the bar twice and the post once, but they're from shots that from outside the box, which the data tells us isn't... You know the um, the best way to score. We we knew that we had to show them to the outsides of the pitch and not let them come through the middle of us. And we did that, and, and we dealt with crosses that went in the box. And Michael made some good saves, and all the back three lads all all, all dealt with everything that got thrown at them. And then yet yeah, to concede just before half time is a bit of a blow. But again, we go in it one one at half time, and then well, you know, to take it to extra time, it just shows how well that the players have done. We obviously had the chance with, with Ryan at the end with that with that penalty. I mean, Cap is a great penalty stopper, isn't he? He's, he's renowned for it. He is, yeah. He's just got a knack, hasn't he? He, he's, he must trust his gut and, and, he, and he went the right way. No, Ryan didn't strike it very well. It wasn't the best penalty I've ever seen. But you know what? He's, he, at least he was brave enough to step up and take it. He, he's devastated in the dressing room, as you can imagine. But you know, he, he's, been, he's our leading goal scorer at the moment and been one of our main players all season. And, He's got to pick his head up quickly and move on from it and hopefully go and score the winner on Tuesday. <laughs> uh, what does it say about the side that having conceded in extra time, we still you know, won on that front foot to try and get the equaliser? Oh, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Chelsea <laughs> were kicking it long, <laughs> clinging on. Um, but yeah, it, it shows that the character that they've got, that the players are giving everything for the shirt and, um, and that's all we can ask. They're, they're trying their hardest. We've, we've got some good players, we've got some good quality. We also know we've got flaws, but if they just keep producing that effort and that belief then they won't go far wrong and, and yeah, they kept going till the very end and, and yet yeah, as a club we can all be proud.